Good morning, everyone. It's especially fitting that we consider a suffrage memorial today because yesterday marked the 100th anniversary of this chamber's passage of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote. And this August is the 99th anniversary of the ratification of that constitutional amendment. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention here today, I appreciate the fact that the monument will include um, African-American women because it seems that in the women, you know, the women's right to vote didn't apply to all women when it uh, was passed. In fact, in my state of New Mexico, uh, Native Americans couldn't vote until 1948. Uh, they weren't recognized as citizens of this country until 1924. Uh, it seemingly, and we heard this uh, testimony earlier also, that the way that the, you know, our government essentially kept uh, different uh, groups of people from participating in the American experience was to deem them either non-citizens or non-humans. So, uh, so I, fe I feel like this goes a long way in helping us to uh, rectify our history and make sure that we're telling the true history and hoping that, uh, you know, along those lines that we can remember uh, the Native American women who weren't allowed to vote until much later in um, the century. So I appreciate that very much. And I, I'm anxious to, uh, to see the actual monument. If there is no further business, Without objection, the committee stands adjourned.